Ancient Egypt, Greek and Roman rule. The late period of ancient Egyptian history came to an end in 332 BC when Egypt was conquered by the Greeks. The Greeks formed their own dynasty called the Ptolemaic Dynasty that ruled for nearly 300 years until 30 BC. In 30 BC, the Romans took control of Egypt. The Romans ruled for over 600 years until around 640 AD. In 332 BC, Alexander the Great swept down from Greece, conquering much of the Middle East, all the way to India. Along the way, he conquered Egypt. Alexander was declared a pharaoh of Egypt. He established the capital city of Alexandria along the northern coast of Egypt. When Alexander the Great died, his kingdom was divided among his generals. One of his generals, Ptolemy I Soter, became pharaoh of Egypt. He established the Ptolemaic dynasty in 305 BC. The Ptolemaic dynasty was the last dynasty of ancient Egypt. Although Ptolemy I and later rulers were Greek, they took on the religion and many traditions of ancient Egypt. At the same time, they introduced many aspects of Greek culture into the Egyptian way of life. For many years, Egypt prospered under the rule of the Ptolemaic dynasty. Many temples were built in the style of the New Kingdom. At its peak, around 240 BC, Egypt expanded to control Libya, Kush, Palestine, Cyprus, and much of the eastern Mediterranean Sea. During this time, Alexandria became one of the most important cities in the Mediterranean. It served as the major trade port between Asia, Africa, and Europe. It also was the center of Greek culture and education. The Library of Alexandria was the largest library in the world, with several hundred thousand documents. When Ptolemy III died in 221 BC, the Ptolemaic dynasty began to weaken. The government became corrupt and many rebellions occurred throughout the country. At the same time, the Roman Empire was becoming stronger and taking over much of the Mediterranean. In 31 BC, Pharaoh Cleopatra VII allied with the Roman general Mark Anthony against another Roman leader named Octavian. The two sides met at the Battle of Actium where Cleopatra and Mark Anthony were soundly defeated. One year later, Octavian arrived in Alexandria and defeated the Egyptian army. In 30 BC, Egypt became an official Roman province. Daily life in Egypt changed little under Roman rule. Egypt became one of the most important provinces of Rome as a source of grain and as a trade center. For several hundred years, Egypt was a source of great wealth for Rome. When Rome split in the 4th century, Egypt became part of the Eastern Roman Empire, also called Byzantium. Muslim Conquest of Egypt In the 7th century, Egypt came under constant attack from the east. It was first conquered by the Sassanids in 616 and then by the Arabs in 641. Egypt would remain under control of the Arabs throughout the Middle Ages. Interesting facts about Egypt under Greek and Roman rule. The Lighthouse of Alexandria was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Cleopatra VII was the last pharaoh of Egypt. She killed herself when the Romans took control of Alexandria. 
Octavian would later become the first emperor of Rome and change his name to Augustus. Cleopatra had a son with Julius Caesar named Caesarion. He also took the name Ptolemy XV. The Romans called the province of Egypt Egyptus.